Ooh, my hair looks good, Lewis, doesn't it? Fresh trim today. Look, it's going back as well, look. Mad. Absolutely mad. Everyone's telling me I was bald. You're not laughing now, are you? <laughs> okay, it's all going back. Oh, actually, to be fair, that bit there's a bit thin. Let's just push that. There we go. There we go. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video on our channel, Collect4. Thank you to everyone that has shown support up until now. It does mean the world to us. Um, we are looking to grow the channel as much as we possibly can. Um, I already have a main channel where I do FIFA, uh, but this is the channel I do with my brother and it means the world to me to be able to show you guys what we do and to be able to do it full time as well. Um, it, it is absolutely awesome. But car boot season is upon us. Um, the first car boot for our local car boot sale starts on sunday although the weather report between now and sunday is bleak so there may not be a car boot um video if one isn't on but we will see and see what happens um but we're excited because it's our favorite part of the job we don't make most of our money from car boot sales anymore but we do make a lot of money from car boot sales and it's our favorite place to go and pick stuff up from you can never be rummaging around a car boot sale what I thought we'd do though is we're going to put together and show you guys some of the best pickups we got last year um, from some of the videos and put them into one place so you guys can get a taste of it and see what we did. We got some incredible finds last year. Even recently, I will show you this. We bought a job lock clothing. And there's two pairs of Yeezys. Hang on, there. There we go. Two pairs of Yeezys right here. Uh, completely legitimate. They are good to go. Um, we picked these up and they wasted cost us about a pound each. And we've got two pairs of Yeezy sitting here chilling. So it's really, really cool. If you ever want to see the stuff that we've got as well, the links are down below, especially for the clothing. All that stuff's there for you guys. Um, but yeah, Lewis has got the clips together for you guys to go and check out what we picked up last year. And we cannot wait to bring you even more this year. So let's get into the video and I'll see you soon. Just it's stained all over. Like stains everywhere. Can you do a quid? Just stained everywhere. <laughs> Can you do a quid? It's just absolutely stained yeah, everywhere. Yeah. yeah it's fine. Why not for a quid? This is the big boy buy. Um, we took a massive punt on this because it felt good condition. We weren't sure, and we paid a pound. We paid a pound for it. Um, it's a CP company jacket and we thought, do you know what? The soft shell feels decent on it. Now, my friend is a massive CP company expert, basically knows everything there is to know. We've taken to it to him and he has the exact same jacket and he's confirmed it's real, it's legitimate. Now, it does have staining on it. It needs a clean. Uh, we're going to get dry cleaned and whatnot. There's a bit of dirt there. But we paid a pound for it. Now, this jacket was selling for £165 reduced a little while ago. It's now very hard to get hold of. We're hoping for about £80 to £100. Pound. Um, give or take. It's hard to find the exact jacket online, um, but it is a legitimate CP company. And I don't know how many people in the day would walk past that and not seen it. Sean spotted the CP company badge um, and was straight away like, let me get involved in that. And it is 100% authentic. So unbelievable, unbelievable pickup. <laughs> There's something on it. There's Burberry on it. Yeah, I think we bought that. It's cheap enough. And how much for the bag as well? We'll go through quid for the bag as well. So if we do 14 quid for it all. I think that's fine. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Why not? And then the final item that we bought, and we got this at the beginning of the boot sale, and it is battered and it needs a restore. However, this is an original vintage Burberry bag. Um, it needs a lot of cleanup. It needs a lot of work to it. It's not perfect by any stretch of imagination, but we paid, I think, three quid for this. Um, with the cleanup, with it being restored and whatnot, probably cost us about 20 quid for my local um, sort of uh, haberdashery, what you want to call them, um, like laundry and stuff like that, but they do all the repairs. Probably going to repair it, about 20 quid probably spent on that. I think we'll get £100 plus on this bag. It's a really, really like, nice example of an old vintage for every, for every bag, but it just needs a massive, massive cleanup. If our total spend on it is 25, 30 quid and we get £100 for it, we make £70 pound profit, which is unbelievable. Uh, I'll be sure on that. Uh, two pound, mate? Yeah, why not? Yeah. It's worth it, I think. But we're going to talk about 
the best buy of the car boot season so far and it is this. I saw this and basically ran to it because I've sold one exactly like it before. This is basically a vintage Spurs track jacket, puffer, bomber, whatever you want to call it. But it's basically training wear from the 1990s, basically early 1990s. Um, and it's the Tottenham Hotspur. You see the back, it says Spurs. That sort of American style um, jacket. Now, I saw this, I said to Sean, go for it. Sean wasn't moving. He was sort of looking at some Umbro t shirt worth next to nothing. So in the end, I was like, I'm going, basically. So I split it over to it, and I was more than willing to pay 50, 60 quid for this item comfortably. I asked him how much, and he said £2, as you guys would have seen. This jacket, I've sold one before for £500. It can sell for as high as £600. There's one on Depop at the moment on a massive undercut, so I'll probably wait for that one to come off. But even if we sell this to Quick Flipper, which Sean wants, Sean wants to do that, flip it on for £200, £250 for a £2 buy, it is utterly unreal. And it's in really good condition. It needs a wash, it needs a clean, but it is in superb condition for its age. It's basically 30 years old. And still, all the buttons intact, the stitching's good. It's a sensational pickup, and I, this is why we do what we do. I love it. The vibe you get when you pick up an item like this, it's just next level. It's absolutely next level, and I'm so, so happy with that to pick up. All right, so, uh, from, from Shoes Man, um, all these comics, basically, unbelievable amount. Box full of them, bags full of them, and yeah, pay 70, which is a punt, but there are a ton of them. I mean, even if I sold them separately for a quid each, I'd make more money, make more than that. Um, there's a couple in there that I know are worth a decent bit, so we make definite profit out of it. Now, when I got home, I counted up the amount of comics that were there, and there were 450. My estimate was about 300, so 70 pounds for me was a no-brainer because it worked out at quick mouth, like less than well, about 50p a comic, less than 50p a comic. Um, so I was like, brilliant, that's fantastic. Um, and so I saw that 450 of them, and I've gone through each of them individually number eight marvel superhero secret wars number eight it's a new costume i'm assuming that's spider-man um and it went for 74 pound on bids bear that in mind as well but we've got another one of them so you can see we had oh no that's a different one that was actually 12. this is seven this is seven that was 12. this is seven this is the 30 pound one we've got number 10 which is amazing number 11 which is awesome <laughs> number six which is great number four number nine and i think i've got some more in there as well i don't think we're far off the whole set it's 12 issues now, the full 12 issues together can sell for anywhere north of 400 to 500 pounds alone. If we get those together, if I've got all of them, they'll go together in one job lot online. And I want to show you this because it's the Amazing, Amazing Spider-Man 294, which is recently sold for £23.88 once converted. That was in Germany. £28.88. We've got about 15 Amazing Spider-Man comics here, and the bare minimum that any of them are worth is £15. And this is probably the one of the better examples because it's actually quite clean still. The condition's still half decent on it. It's not too bad. Pages are a little bit yellowed inside, but nothing shocking. You can still read it. You can still see it. Um, but yeah, we have 150 comics left to sell from that boot sale the other day. We're looking at about £1,000 all in once we sell them. Probably even a little bit more than that. Right. How much do you want them? Um, £3,000. Yeah, why not? Jordans. These ones are kids, but we paid £3, I think, for these at the beginning of the boot sale. Um, and we should get, theoretically, 25 30 maybe a little bit more um, across Depop, Vinted, and um, eBay. I've got the charger. You've got a charger with it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, have a look, I'll look it up and see. Do you do 15 on it? Sorry? Do you do 15 on it? No, 20, yeah? Yeah. This Yamaha keyboard, um, it is the Yamaha Piaggero MP, uh, MP12. We paid £20 for this with the wire and it works. Um, and sold comps are £100 plus on it. Um, I think we could probably push to 140 150 if we post it, um, which is absolutely awesome. Right, and that was just a little taste of what we did last year, and it was absolutely amazing. We took ourselves, specifically because I started doing this with my brothers, and obviously Yellen's gone now to sort of pursue his refereeing career, which I'm so proud of him for. Um, but started with my brothers, and we started off in a small way of just a little sort of clothing shop. Sean had his little Funko Pop shop, 
um, and we've turned it now into a fully fledged business uh, where we are able to support ourselves financially um, as well as give back to other people even got people working for us now as well um, so we've been able to really kick it up a gear from where we started to where we are now it is night and day how, how much different or Sean would say light and day don't make sense but you know um, it is light and day night and day night and day it's night and day I said light and day because of you it is night and day and it is a massive 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 difference and so we cannot wait to show you guys the journey of the next year um, and what will happen between now summer into winter next year and hopefully we continue to build in a way that means we can make a difference to the people around us a difference to the environment a difference to our lives hopefully we can keep making you guys proud but that'll be the end of the video please subscribe if you are new around here we're on our way to a thousand subscribers that is our big goal for the next part of this channel uh, so make sure you sub drop a like and comment it makes all the difference if you can but for now click four out we'll see you soon